know, I mean, I've, I've gone through many different, um, I guess, maturities um, over the past couple of years and how I thought about dance to what I think about dance now and to how I, what I do now. Um, I mean, I don't really pursue it professionally anymore. Um, I still dance now, but I don't, I don't really do it for, I don't even care if I get better anymore. I just really like to dance. You know, I just kind of find my own little dark corner and go dance. But when I, when I first started learning it, it was very uninhibited. You know, you didn't know if you were doing things right or wrong. You didn't have a lot of people to tell you if you were. But you also didn't have a lot of people looking at you like you were, had three eyes and, you know, six testicles or something. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, did I say that? But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, it was, it was more, you were just having fun when you first started doing it. And again, it's weird because you kind of, I've kind of almost come full circle. Like when I first started, it's like, yeah, I kind of wanted to get better, but it was more, it was more of a discovery level. Like you really weren't being taught how to do anything. It was just, you were progressing, but you didn't really know that you were progressing. You were just kind of doing it and being experimental. And I mean, this is back 98 to 2002, 2003 for me. But um, once I learned popping and I, and I kind of understood a little bit of the, the mentality that people who are in the hip hop culture have, and I saw a lot of the politics involved because they were a much more structured culture than us. They've been around for a little longer. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're much larger. Um, a lot more people are doing it. The, the techniques are a little bit more solidified um, and defined and everything. And you start, the ego level is amazing. I mean, you know, it's part of the dance. You know, part of the dance is showing, part of the showmanship is to demonstrate the level of ego you have related to the level of dancing you have. And... I'm not saying this for everybody, but I mean, that exists and existed with the popping and punk style community way more than it did with raving or liquid and, and digits and, and just rave culture. And when they started to intermingle, um, I think it was right around the point where I started to get real serious about popping. And not when, it, not when the two dances intermingled historically, but for me. Like when I was doing liquid, I started learning how to pop. Um, I started gaining a little bit a grasp of the mentality of kind of being very a little bit militaristic about learning how to pop and being very um, structured into training. So I used to lift a lot. I used to uh, really try to strength train myself. Um, I used to try to come up with moves all the time. Um, I used to write everything down in books. Uh, I on stickies. Mine was notepads. So I used to write stickies and like stick figures basically and I would draw these stick figures with you know I, I draw it doing like with a hand out like this and then a little arrow and a number one underneath saying that my arm's going to go this way I mean really really weird shit and then like I would just like before I knew it I had like a room full of stickies of like these different moves and I'd, I'd come back and look at them and I, I didn't even know what the fuck the sticky meant you know what I mean like yeah, seriously it looked like caveman drawing on a wall so I started trying to write stuff down, and I, I couldn't really figure out why it wasn't working for me, and, you know, and then, uh, but I was still, like, really into training, and I started teaching popping for a little bit, and, um, you know, I never really practiced liquid to the level I practiced popping, and for some reason, I just, I didn't like to practice liquid. I liked to go out and do liquid when I was, in the early days, it's when I was out dancing, you know, when I was going out, and the more, the more and more I wasn't going out, the less and less I was practicing liquid, but I was practicing popping a lot, I don't know why that, why that is, it just, it seems like you, popping is a really easy environment, or put, it, it is a really easy to pop in any environment, where I feel like when you do liquid, it's almost like you need to set your room up like a rave in order to be doing liquid, I don't know, but, uh, um, yeah, so like that might, my, my, you know, I, I tried competing a little bit and I tried to see if I could get better through competing and I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like doing it. And uh, I just, uh, I just wanted to, to start dancing after a while. I started not liking people um, looking at me when I danced. I, I, I stopped wanting to be in like a circle. I just, 
I really started cringing from it because it was I really pulled myself out of my original element, which was to be in kind of a very intimate environment, dark, dingy, you know, I mean, just, you know, very, um, very old school setting, like rave setting, and, um, where, yeah, people watched you and stuff, but it was just, it was, it was different, you know, and when I learned popping and I saw the showboating element of it, and, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, saying that that's a negative thing on the dance style, it's just that's the way the dance style is, you know, it's a very showboat style, um, and very kind of extroverted style, you know, but, um, it just, it wasn't what I like to do, you know, which is kind of hard now because when I like to go out and I want to pop, it's like you need a lot of room and you, you know, it's like, it's really hard to do it in like a corner and nobody see you or like you can kind of do liquid and digits and like kind of just turn around and face a corner and you know, nobody's going to see you. But, um, so for a while I got into training and, and, um, really you know, writing stuff down and, and videotaping myself. I used to videotape the shit out of myself and, um, you know, try to like come up with moves and, and technique from how I video videotape myself. And um, I went from wanting to videotape myself every time to I videotape myself once and then wait, watch it until I hated it. I couldn't take it anymore. I despised watching myself dance and then I would hate myself for like a couple weeks and then I'd start dancing again and something totally new would come out and like three months later I'd videotape myself again and I'd, I'd be blown away by what I saw because I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm doing that. And then I'd watch it again until I hated it because I'd start to see all the little tiny details that I did that I didn't like. And that, that, was, that was me being militaristic about it. I'd videotape myself and I'd do it and do it and do it until I knew that I could do better and then I'd do something else and I'd try to get myself better. But... I didn't want to do that. I just didn't want to do that anymore. You know, I just I, like for me, it's 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 more of a spiritual thing for me now. It's just I, I just I like to go out and I like to be able to dance. You know, it's, I hear music and I really just want to let let off. You know, pent up tension I have, just w whatever the case. And you know, it's like I, I don't I don't care anymore. I just want to enjoy it. You know, and, and I don't know why. You know. Part of it's just maybe because of the, my career path that I've been going towards and my age. I, you know, I don't know. It's just I, I just want to go out and dance and have a good time. I leave the arguing up to everyone else. Uh, let's see. I first met Fu and Sammy, and um, it was at this really. I mean, you want to talk about random? I mean, this was like the most random rave ever in the fucking New Jersey that I ran into the two of them. Twice. Like, two different times. So, we started bullshitting and kind of were just like, you know, Sammy, I mean, Sammy, Sammy was like barely dancing back then. He's made, I think, been dancing for like two months or something like that. You know, Fu had been dancing for a while and then, like, me and Fu kind of like, uh, caught each other's eye or whatever and, um, started bullshitting and, you know, uh, Sammy was like, well, you gotta get to meet my other friends, and then that's when I met Sean, and um, there was a couple other people, like, uh, like Kimmy was right around that time, too, Supergirl, um, and uh, this guy Dan, Dan Dudikin, and we called him Duty, and my, my friend Joe was the dude I was learning from up in, with, up in New York, so he was in the crew for a little bit in the beginning, and we were all hanging out, and then... Fu and Sammy were like, you gotta meet this guy, Eric. So, we go out to, well, Eric was right outside of Philly, but we actually met Eric in a club in New York City, and we all went up to, it was like Electric Circus or something it was called, and it was at um, Club Exit, but when it, used to, it used to be something else, and then it was like when Club Exit opened it, 